This is the discrete time signal manipulations. For example, uh, an infinite sequence is expressed by xn equal to exponent negative n over 2 multiplied with un. un is a step function. Now produce a new sequence for 2x5n over 3. So this is actually uh, output 2yn equal to 2x5n over 3. And now we can calculate it one by one for positive integer. Okay, starting from 0 and so on. Okay, I detail it in the next slide. Okay, so this is the equation for output. And we know given uh, in the question is xn equal to this one where this is the unit step. So now we started with n equal to 0 using this output function. We uh, plug in the value of n equal to 0 so this one becomes 0. So meaning that this xn, now the integer is 0. We plug in the value of 0 integer into this one. So 2xn at n equal to 0, we plug in this one. So exponent e, n is 0 over 2 multiply with unit step 1. Unit step is equal to 1 for n equal and larger than 0. So in this case, this one is equal to 2. So now we move to n equal to 1. So when we plug in n equal to 1, so this one is became 5 over 3. Please note that this is not an integer. Integer is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So automatically, when this is not an integer, this value xn will become 0. Okay, this is the unit step function. So this one is 0. Y for integer 1 is 0. So now move to n equal to 2. So we plug in 2 in this one, so it becomes 10 over 3. Again, this is not an integer. So automatically, xn is 0. Okay, so y for integer, 2 is 0. So for n equal to 3, so we plug in 3 here, so it becomes 5. 5 is integer. So now we can use the value of n equal to 5 in xn. So this one will become in exponent negative 5 over 2. So we calculate this one. This is the value 0.164. The next one is n equal to 4. We plug in n. Here it becomes 20 over 3. This is not an integer. So xn is 0. yn is 0. So for n equal to 5, we plug in here. So it became 25 over 3. This is also not an integer. So xn becomes 0. So yn for 5 is 0. The, next, the last one is n equal to 6. We plug in here. It became 10. 10 is an integer. So we can use n equal to 10 for this one. Exponent negative 10 over 2. So this one is 0 0.013 for yn equal to 6. So we conclude that xn equal to 0 if n is not an integer. For example, 5 over 3, 10 over 3, 20 over 3, and 25 over 3. In previous analysis, for n equal to 0, 3, and 6, and then yn is equal to this value, which xn became this one. Okay, this is actually 5n over 3. Please correct it. So we can conclude that yn is equal to 2 exponent minus 5n over 6 multiplied with u n if n equal to 0, 3, and 6, but it is actually equal to 0 for other values.